Okay, this is the um, TC Electronic Finalizer 96K. Um, it's a really nice little bit of hardware. We actually bought this second hand from Heathlands Mastering, the big mastering company in London. Um, and because it had come out of one of their main studios, it actually came handily pre-made with a lot of really good um, kind of uh, patches in there. Like if I flick through it, uh, that's obviously a So Solid crew have used that for one of their tracks. We've got uh, Dido, Dido's right? white flag that seems to have been mastered on this as well. Um, so, I mean, we, we're kind of lucky that um, a lot of these uh, are already on there, but we have made some of our own presets as well. Uh, and this, it's a, it's a fairly complicated little machine, and it is also, it's very easy to ruin your tracks as well with this, because it can really, really overcook stuff. But we'll give you a little example, if you just whack the, um, the volume up a bit. This is on bypass. Find a decent setting. So you can see it's pushing the, the limit down and the gain on there. It's quite hard to tell. Uh, obviously through through just the DVD how much of a difference it makes but just by taking the bypass on and off it really lifts the frequencies. There is a much better version of this. The reason we came across this machine is because there was um, a TDM plugin for Pro Tools that was TC Electronic, I think it's called Master X, uh, Master X3 and Master X5 which were basically card units of this that you use through Pro Tools. Um, but because we don't use the TDM system here because it's a thousand, you know, 10, 15 grand or something just, just for that, we, we went for the hardware version. I have to say, if you can get hold of the, the, the cards and the TC Master X 5 is amazing, actually a little bit better than this, but um, this, is, this is pretty decent for getting a big fat sound out of records from anything that sounds just, you know, even if we get sent tracks for our record label, for, for the uh, um, electric playground label, you know, we'll often just stick the final one through that and uh, it'll just give it a little bit of a lift so definitely worth uh, having a look out for if you can see it on eBay. This is actually probably one of the most important things in the studio. Something we came across uh, a couple of months ago in a store cup when we were looking for a hoover. <laughs> uh, I, I actually grew up listening to music on one of these. It's probably like late 80s, early 90s. It's got a few graphic equalizers at the top. Uh, double cassette player, it's probably got a bit of high speed dubbing. <laughs> uh, basically, we play all our music through it. I mean, if it sounds good on one of these, it's going to sound good on anything. Uh, and it, you can sort of really pick up the, the sort of. The nuances of each track. The what? The nuances. <laughs> the <laughs> the, the nuances. <laughs> the thing is, it's, a really, it's like, it's a, it's, a, it's a massive heap of crap, basically, this. It's a horrible old thing from like 1989, but. Like Nick said, if we, we put everything through this, if it does sound good through this, you know you've got it right. You can also, I mean, we'll even go through the you know, amazing digital, very expensive finaliser through to the, you know, going straight into this because you can pick out what frequencies need to come out. I mean, this is what a lot of people, the sort of thing people do listen to your music on. I mean, this could be out on a building site if you, and your track might have been played on the radio. It's like it already has, it's got a bit of brick on it. <laughs> yeah. so, so you need to kind of bring it out. So I would fully recommend whatever studio you got, whether it's a tiny, small, little, you know, home project place that you're just working on some tracks for yourself, or, you know, a, a kind of multi-million pound, you, everyone needs one of these. Keep an eye on the graphic equalizers, because if they're not all up, <laughs> uh, it's going to sound horrendous, whatever. So that's the all important bit. That's probably Riley and Durant's biggest tip. Get yourself a 1989 Hitachi boombox. Right, we're Riley and Durant. Thank you very much for spending a bit of time in our studio in Leeds. I'm Andy Durant, that's Nick Riley. This is Mark Maitland, our uh, in-house engineer. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us. I hope you've, uh, it wasn't too boring or too geeky and you managed to get something decent out of it. Uh, plugs, what should we get in? Uh, on MySpace, myspace.com forward slash Riley and Durant. Uh, Maitland, do you want to get a little one in? Uh, myspace.com slash DJ Mark Maitland. Uh, look out for our uh, Loop Masters producers pack if you've enjoyed any of the stuff we've done tonight or you think you know, you've um, you kind of got anything out of it, then we've got a pack out at the moment that's got loads of loops that we use, loads of our sounds, uh, refills, all that kind of thing. Uh, you can get that from loopmasters.com. It's called Riley and Durant Progressive House Producer. 
listen to our shows on Galaxy FM. Our new record label we're about to launch called The Electric Playground. More information at theelectricplayground.com. Uh, first release is an EP from Mark Maitland. I think that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Cheers.